Hello and welcome at Eurosatory 2024, the world's largest defense and security exhibition. My name is Teresa Pultarova and here with me is Dr. Ben Green, the founder and chief innovations officer at EOS. Hello. Hello, Teresa. Can you tell me what are the hottest innovations that EOS is showcasing at Eurosatory this year? This year at Eurosatory, we're, we're showcasing new technologies in, in counter drone warfare in particular. This is a, a very topical area, of course, in warfare today. What about high energy lasers? Uh, what are their benefits? What is this technology about? Well, the benefits of high energy lasers are that they're an indispensable part of the capability spectrum you need to defeat drone warfare today. The technology is, is useful both for denying uh, information from the battlefield to the sensors of long-range drones, but also for achieving complete destruction of drones at shorter ranges. What role do high energy lasers play or could play in the protection of space assets? Our, our high power lasers already play a crucial role in the protection of space assets by helping determine the environment that those assets are flying in, in space. The high power lasers uniquely determine very accurately the position and the orbits of all the orbiting material in the domain around those space assets. Uh, I understand that the high energy lasers could be quite a game changer in the mitigation of space debris. Is that correct? And if so, how would that work? That's correct, and it works in two ways. One is that the lasers determine quite uniquely an accurate assessment of the threat from space debris right up to the moment of collision, which can be imminent in the future. And for certain classes of space debris, the lasers can actually uh, mitigate the threat by moving the debris remotely from the Earth. The US has been developing space technologies for quite a long time. What have you learned uh, about this type of technology during that time? I think the key, the key lessons are that the space domain is evolving uh, very, very quickly now relative to, let's say, the last 40 years. Yes, we started 40 years ago, and it's always been a domain where information is the most important thing to have. You, you can't act in space without first knowing what you need to act on. So assessing the space environment using lasers is, is quite a powerful capability and absolutely essential for all future operations in space. The ability for, of lasers to go beyond that, to move objects in space, to apply remote thrusting to objects in space, to move them in or out of harm's way, uh, that's an important capability as well. What types of new technologies and innovations can we expect from EOS in the space domain in the future? Well, EOS is driving very hard to bring down the cost and increase the timeliness and volume of our space information data. So uh, a knowledge of the entire space environment from a smaller number of collecting sites using more powerful and more capable lasers is what we would expect to bring to market in the near future. Thank you very much. That was Dr. Ben Green, the founder and chief innovations officer at EOS.